Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to a, a Wednesday afternoon, 1.18 p.m. here, California time, October 30th, 2024 is the date. Uh, looks like we got an earthquake coming in there to the Oregon area in a very odd location here outside of Mitchell, Oregon. Uh, Blue Mountains here, eastern east of the uh, 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 the uh, Cascade Mountain range here. Uh, not for sure what's going on with this quake, but it's a little odd, moderate quake coming into the area. Uh, population density not all that high out there across that area of Oregon. Uh, let's check out some of these magnitudes here. A little interesting activity. Uh, not a whole lot of stations coming in right now, but I am seeing that earthquake showing up there on the Petrolia station. Uh, and also Barrett. So I'm thinking that's going to be a little bit bigger than a 4.3. That looks something like maybe a 5 magnitude earthquake um, coming in there. Because look at that. Southern California, Barrett, right? If you look at this, Southern California is way down here, that Barrett station. And it's picking up that earthquake. So I think that's a little bit bigger. Maybe a 5 or even larger magnitude uh, coming in right now into this area. Oh, whoa. What is that? 6.1 out there. That's what we're picking up. So that is uh, an interesting earthquake. 6.1 coming in to the Blanco Fracture Zone. I was a little confused there for a minute because that uh, 4.3 ain't going to make that type of signal there up in Oregon. But it looks like we have two earthquakes coming in right now. 6.1 Blanco Fracture Zone outside the Cascadia Subduction Zone here. That's a mega thrust area. Oh, uh, goodness. And a little uncertain, though, on if this is actually going to be a legit earthquake. That's underneath automatic status. Um, hold on a second here. Uh, that 6.1 out in the Blanco Fracture Zone, away from that. Uh, I don't know if this has been reviewed yet or not. Let me double check. It has been reviewed. So that is going to stick there on the map in terms of magnitude. Uh, this one over here has not been reviewed yet. Uh, it may even actually be a false earthquake being picked up from the original quake here. See, 1315, about a minute later is when the seismograph station there registered a 4.3, way out here in the middle of Nowhereville, Oregon. And uh, that's why I said it's a little odd to see any type of earthquake activity out there. But we'll have to see if they revise it. And uh, if that's the case, uh, almost immediate immediate strain being produced out here uh, following that 6.1 uh, here inland. Now, the Blanco Fracture Zone, this is a, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still a little under the weather, uh, strike slip type of fault here. Uh, when earthquakes happen out here, that normally adds further strain down here across the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Um, and that's exactly where it's at right now, the Blanco Fracture Zone. I'm going to pop in a cough drop here to hopefully limit the uh, coughing. I'm just, I'm getting better, but the cough is getting worse. It's crazy. Let's see here. It has not been reviewed yet. So let's check out the... <clears throat> origins here on this magnitude earthquake nothing coming in yet so at least they're not showing it here on the map 6.1 goodness so either way that's a, a fairly large quake out there I, did, I just happened to be right next to the computer seeing this thing come in pretty crazy now 6.1 it looks like maybe 100 miles, 120 miles off the coast here of Oregon. I'm not 100% certain if this is going to be felt or not. Probably not. It is a ways off the coast there. But uh, it's important there along the uh, Blanco Fracture Zone is something we're going to have to watch here because the Cascadia has been quite active out here recently in the last uh, 30 days or so with various magnitudes across the area, including one here just shy of the Cascadia subduction zone itself. That five-pointer coming in there about um, a couple weeks back prior to today's activity. So overall, it's been heightened out here across this area of the Cascadia and the Blanco Fracture Zone. Of course, what goes on out here plays a big part on the mega thrust area called Cascadia. That earthquake now showing up uh, 
significantly there on the Barrett station. <laughs> kind of caught me off guard thinking that's going to be the reading from a 4.3. It wasn't until I backed out of here a little bit that I seen this was a, a much bigger quake. So there may not actually be a 4.3 up here, folks, but uh, yeah, still underneath automatic status review. Uh, things are kicking up. So that is the second six-pointer here today, 6.0 in Papua New Guinea, deep earthquake here earlier this morning. And not a whole lot of adjustment following this quake, but it looks like things may be uh, straining out here across the eastern area of the plate boundary now. And, of course, that includes uh, the, you know, the Cascadia subduction zone. We'll definitely have to watch that. Southern California, not a whole lot going on. A little bit of smaller microquake, but as you can see, that 2.5 map is uh, fairly, fairly absent of anything. So microquake activity there. But uh, for now, 6.1, no tsunami with this earthquake. It's too much of a, uh, this is a different type of boundary here that uh, normally don't produce a tsunami. Now, if we get a, a big one out here on the Cascadia Megathrust subduction zone itself, well, yeah, we're going to see a Pacific-wide tsunami and, you know, 324 years has passed since the last big time rupture out here and uh, who knows uh, a lot of a lot of faults a lot of plate boundaries a lot of subduction zones have been building up strain here for hundreds of years and we're living in that future now where we could start seeing things really uh, ramp up here but uh, i'll continue to watch that folks it has been reviewed 6.1 earthquake off the coast of oregon seismograph waves are coming in there um a couple of them are offline, but uh, we'll definitely watch it. Showing up there on Barrett and Petrolia Station right there. That's a, a decent little earthquake, right? 6.1, goodness. All right, we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening. I was just in the process here. Uh, I had to had to run somewhere, but I'll uh, cover this and more. Uh, of course, a lot of severe weather going on out there across the plains right now. Big time tornado potential out there. Hopefully, uh, everyone's taking heed to the severe weather. Uh, because it's just starting to get rolling out there across Kansas, Oklahoma, uh, portions of Nebraska as well. Darn it. I'm really curious, though, if this is a legit earthquake or not. And the reason why I say that is because it's if it is a legit earthquake, then almost immediately following this earthquake activity, adjustment was made and strain uh, on the Cascadia subduction zone, but transforming the pressure here inland off of that uh, subduction zone area so it's going to be important to watch this see if this has been uh gets reviewed or not or if it gets removed right because a lot of times earthquakes can trigger false phantom quakes here hundreds of miles away but this here is a little interesting again if this has triggered further inland activity we definitely need to watch this uh, cascadia subduction zone i'll cover all this and more folks i got a few things i got to run um and go do right now but uh, we'll be back here a little bit later to cover all this make sure you guys subscribe like and share the video if you could that would definitely help me out we'll catch you guys out here a little bit later on this evening